Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of the Meta Jungle NFT Artist Spotlight. I have two really incredible artists to share with you, and they are going to be Masseuse Sharmas and Stephen Lang. Both of these artists are active Meta Jungle members and incredible NFT photographers. So let's get into it. All right, guys, so our first artist spotlight we're going to talk about today is Masseuse Sharmas. He's been an artist for 14 years, and you guys might actually recognize him because he was just on the homepage of OpenSea, so that's so exciting. Congratulations. Uh, but going back into more about him, he's always had a passion for photography, and it was this passion that actually started in his childhood that he rediscovered in his early 30s that encouraged him to go back to school get an undergraduate degree in photography, and actually even go a step further and get a master's in photography. So that is so incredible. Congratulations. Uh, and this actually sparked his passion of street and documentary photography. He's competed in many competitions and has gained more than 300 acceptances and medals. And he's also participated in exhibitions in Turkey, Europe, and the USA, which that's so incredible. Um, but let's go on ahead and hear more from Masses himself. Today's featured Meta Jungle NFT artist spotlight is NFT photographer Masseuse Sharmas. Hello, my name is Masseuse Sharmas. I'm an Armenian origin street documentary photographer from Istanbul, Turkey, and I'm based in France now. I graduated from uh, photography and master of photography in Istanbul uh, from Marmara University. I won Collective Tourism Grand Prix in 2020 and all about photos. Uh, street Photography Merit Award, and I've uh, published in their magazine. I exhibited in Arles, uh, Paris Photo, and uh, many avenues in France, Europe, Istanbul, United States. I had also a FIAP honor from FIAP. I started NFTs in April 2021, and uh, I started in uh, foundation after that uh, Hichetnak, uh, OpenSea and Ephemera. I mostly shoot street photography in black and white and uh, grainy and dark photographs. I, my main subjects are shadows and uh, loneliness in the streets. Uh, last year's also I started color photography and I like to shoot uh, analog photography also. This is me. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye. Wow, that was such an incredible video. I had so much fun learning more about Masseuse from himself. Uh, one thing that I thought was really cool to learn about is that he really enjoys working with black and white. He says he enjoys it because it gives a clear but surreal feeling to his images, and he believes that black and white removes the distraction of color and helps the viewers focus on textures, shapes, and patterns. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at his work. As you can see, Masses actually has um, three collections on OpenSea. You got Shadows and Silhouettes, Portraits of India, and Car Instable Under the Snow. Uh, Portraits of India is his only colored collection, but we're actually going to go look at Shadows and Silhouettes. He has, it's a 30 item collection that currently has 12 owners, and each piece in this collection just have five editions each. So let's gonna give them a closer look. As you can see, he does do a really great job at making the focus point of his picture stand out. And I believe that working with black and white really helps this. So for example, um, here, you could see these colors just envisioning it but from walking on the sidewalk every day. But with it being black and white, you really focus on the bicyclist. And I just really, really enjoy that. And I really love it. So now let's go on ahead and take a closer look at the photo that he decided to share with us that he thinks really portrays his work beautifully. So this is the photo he chose, and when asked why he chose this photo, he says that this piece is a bridge of his two main pho uh, photography projects, Lost Solitude and Shadows and Silhouettes. Uh, and he thinks that this photo is about loneliness and shadows, and it represents the darkness that actually cover us all. And it really is such an incredible photo, and I appreciate you sharing that with us, Masseuse. 
But he actually takes pride in using high contrast and grain to give his images a timeless feeling, and he should. He does such a great job that I cannot wait to see what else is in store for him. I enjoy looking at his pictures. I enjoy being captivated to the subject of each picture, and he really just does such an incredible job at making you feel like you're right there with the subjects of those pictures. And I just really enjoy his work. I think it's incredible. So thank you so much, Masses, for sharing this, for sharing your artwork with us and for letting us learn more about you. The next artist that we have to spotlight today is going to be Stephen Lang. He has been a photographer for seven years, and Stephen is a landscape photographer living out of London, Ontario. He picked up photography from his dad, but really started taking the medium seriously whenever he bought his first good quality camera in 2014. Uh, He says since then, he's traveled all over the world to capture some very unique sites in faraway places. So let's go ahead and hear more from Stephen himself. Today's Meta Jungle NFT Artist Spotlight is going to be NFT photographer Stephen Lang. Hi there, I am Stephen Lang or Slang83 on Twitter and Discord. And uh, yeah, I've been a photographer for about six years now, roughly. I've been, um, or I learned it through my dad actually, um, or I picked it up through my dad and I really got into it in 2014 when I got my Fuji X-T1 and since upgraded to an X-T2 and different lenses. And yeah, it's really inspired me to go to different places and photograph and capture some unique sites. Um, I've gone to like New Zealand and Vanuatu and Thailand and uh, Peru, Bolivia, all for photography. So um, yeah, I really appreciate how it's taken me to so many uh, places around the world. And uh, I've recently gone into the NFT space. Uh, I think I minted my first piece around late July. And um, I thought I'd show you a few of my works. Uh, It's Antelope Canyon and uh, Yellowstone. Both are on OpenSea, by the way. Actually, all these that I'm going to show you are on OpenSea. Um, That's a sunset shot in Oregon and Mexico and an astro shot that I took in Banff. So... um, yeah, I really hope some of my work can speak to you, and I look forward to connecting with all of you on Twitter or Discord or wherever, all right? Thanks for your time. Wow, I really enjoyed that video. I really enjoyed the artwork that he shared with us, um, and you can really tell that how much he loves photography. He actually says that he loves how photography has inspired him to travel far and wide to see the world. And without this passion of his, he wouldn't have seen what he's seen, and he's very grateful for it. And you can tell with his artwork, he does an incredible job at making you feel like you're actually there with him experiencing these places. And uh, so let's just go ahead and check out some of his work. So here we are on his open sea. As you can see, he actually has six collections. You got Canyon Lights, Remembering Yellowstone, Yellowstone, Oregon Magic, Sites of Alberta, This is Cape Town, and Memories of Mexico. We're going to go take a closer look at Memories of Mexico. So let's go ahead and dive deeper into his Memories of Mexico. As you can see that this uh, collection is does have seven items in it, and it's taken during a course of several trips. Uh, let's go ahead and take a closer look at these. And I'm actually going to click on the Query Taro Tree. As you can see, Alpha Trilogy does own this piece. And if you go down here, he does a really great job at including everything that we asked for in the descriptions but then also kind of giving you a little bit more. So telling us that he thinks that this is a really dreamy photo of a solitary tree in front of a mysterious door in Curitaro. And he thought it was a unique sight while walking the streets. So I think that that's really cool. And it really is such an incredible photo that he's captured here. So let's go ahead and take a look at the photo that he's decided to share with us that he would really like collectors to see if they were getting a first, um, if it was their first experience with his work. And he said that he shared this photo with us because it represents his love for landscape photography and travel all in one, as well as the dreamlike editing style that he typically leans towards. So it really is such an incredible photo. And like he says, I think it does a beautiful job um, representing his love for landscape photography, but also representing his love for travel. And I think this just goes to show that Stephen really does such a great job showing his love of photography and travel through his photos. I mean, whenever I look at him, I can tell how much he loves the places that he's visiting and how much he um, really soaks in all that they have to offer. And that's something I've always really enjoyed about looking at his work is I can sit there and 
for example, I've been to Yellowstone and I feel like when I look at his Yellowstone collection that I'm visiting there again. And I think that's absolutely incredible. Um, but going on to his time in the NFT space, he says that his goal for the NFT space is that his work, be it its composition, lighting, and locations, can speak to the viewer and inspire them to either go there themselves or collect his work. And I don't know about you guys, but he has definitely succeeded that goal with me. Um, one thing that I really am looking forward to is that he has shared sneak peeks of his upcoming collection from Costa Rica and our Meta Jungle Discord. He just took a two-week long trip there, and he plans on creating a collection out of it. And we've seen a few sneak peeks here and there, and they are absolutely incredible. I have been to Costa Rica before, but I don't think I have ever seen these places that he has shared, and it definitely makes me want to go back and experience them myself. So congratulations, Steven. I look forward to seeing the new collection and I appreciate you sharing this information with us and letting us learn more about you. All right, guys, I hope you had as much fun learning about these two artists as I did. Thank you again to Stephen Lang and Masu Shermis for sharing your information with us and letting us take a deeper dive into you guys as photographers. Please remember that if you are an active member of the Meta Jungle community and you're interested in being one of our NFT artist spotlights, go on ahead and reach out to me and I would be more than happy to speak with you guys and send you the needed information. With that being said, I can't wait for the next artist spotlights and I will see you guys next time.